welcome to the hundredth episode of the Mid Week wait, wait, War. Wait, 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 wait! Have we done a hundred of these? Hundredth episode, Sorg. I, I, I mean, if I do my math, hundredth episode. I, oh, okay, Mike. Hundredth. I mean, I assume since they've done a hundred episodes, we've done a hundred. Must have. Right? I think we've done this since the beginning, right? Yeah. Yeah, like, granted, they weren't all entirely just Lucha. Some of them were multiple shows. You know, but we had to have done 100 shows of this. You know, you know, I was looking back, and Midweek's War started in, like, 2013. Sorg, um, I'm not going to say that we have 100 episodes, but <laughs> I'm sipping from a mug <laughs> that says 100 episodes. <laughs> Uh, yes, yes, you are. Yes, you are. I am, and I apologize for that slurp on Mike, but I wanted to, <laughs> I wanted to illustrate to the audio people what was going on. That was a very prominent slurp. I'm considerate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sorg, we're here at Duck Lucha Underground. Damn straight, we are. Cn, Cn, Sorg. Do you know what that means in Espanol? I know that means a hundred because I watched NXT. <laughs> yes. This is the Andrade Almas episode of Lucha Underground. Ooh. Take that as you will. Uh, it's going to be Wait, sad and okay. unfulfilling. <laughs> okay, all right. So maybe it's not the Andrade episode of uh, of, of Lucha Underground. But Sorg, it's the 100th episode. It's 100, bitch. It's all about the Benjamin, Sorgy. It's all about changing your name. It's all about the Benjamin Cooks. <laughs> Get it? Get it? I did no, it. I don't. I did it. I don't get I, that. that. That's 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 the new guy in Worldwide Underground. Oh. Benjamin Cook. Oh, that guy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Sorg. We are here. Qual S two. Palabra. <laughs> did you forget? So I was trying to, no, I was trying to think of how to say hundredth, but I only know how to say CN, and I was I wasn't going to say CN if. So, Kuala Supalabra, Sorg. It'd be great if you did, though. I need to. <laughs> oh, geez. Remember, to, if you need anything new, I'll just go across the street and vet some of the words at the taco stand. Well, I I, I don't have a taco stand across the no, street. No, no, but I have one I, right over there. I can see Okay, because I was going to say, I'm in Poughkeepsie. We, no, yes, you are. We have a Taco Bell. <laughs> don't ask them. They won't know. They won't know. They won't know. They, they won't will know. not know. <laughs> Um, and anyways, what the hell was my word? Um, my word is keep away. Can that be a word? Oh, I like it. I yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> um, um, my word for Lucha Underground this week, mi palabra, is um, waiting. 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 Okay. Yes, because uh, we'll we'll get into it. We'll get into it. We'll get into it, Sork. All right. Uh, ¿Cuál es tu bueno para Lucha Underground? Uh, my good for this week is keep away. Is the fight in the back? <laughs> Wait, it had this really interesting part where where he stops. Like she's put, she's got the gauntlet and she can't uh, disappear. Which is interesting, uh-huh. right? Yep. Like, oh, you can't disappear now. I don't know. I like that kind of sci-fi mystical aspect to it. Um, and then just turned into just a three-way fight in the back, which just ends up with, uh, you know, how it ends up with uh, Dario getting away with it, doesn't he? That's that's Dario stealing the gauntlet. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Sork, I, I have theories. Mm-hmm. I have so many theories about this. Mm-hmm. All right, um... But yeah, like, and I liked as soon as she dropped the gauntlet, she was able to vanish again. Right. Um, my 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 bueno for this week is the worldwide Mothra ground. <laughs> what? The worldwide Mothra ground. Okay, okay, and I love that he was wearing a headband to stick around with it. He stole that headband. Mm-hmm. It fell on it fell on the ring, and he picked it up and put it on. Mm-hmm. That was amazing. Marty the Moth is the MVP for Lucha Underground. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. He is. He is the freaking MVP of the entire show of Lucha Underground. Like, if, uh, all right, I'll say this. 
he is the MVP that doesn't rest that wrestles. Mm-hmm. The MVP that doesn't wrestle is obviously Dario. Mm-hmm. But the MVP that wrestles is Marty the Moth. How because about... he is so into his character. Yes. Oh, so God. creepy and so good. H- yes. How about the fact that I've never I don't know if I've heard this before where they did Ole Ole Lucha. Yeah. I mean, I'm okay with it. I I but I'm I, okay I, with I, it. I thought it was I thought that was cool. That that yeah, came up. I thought I thought it was pretty awesome. But yeah, just that Atomico's match was really fun. Mm-hmm. And there's a lot happening there. I mean, this was like the Saturday Night's main event of Lucha Underground. I was like, well, a lot of important stuff's going to happen, but really it's just going to lead to Ultimate Lucha. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I like how we didn't have too much of a focus on Sexy Star. No. So we no. didn't have to, so we didn't have to feel awkward. A little subdued. Yeah, a little we, subdued. She did stuff. By the way, and, and I, t- I tweeted this out. Uh, you can follow at Mayhem Show, hashtag MM. I tweeted this out. Now that we know what we know about Sexy Star, mm-hmm. maybe maybe Marty's really an anti-hero. Mm. Maybe he is. I mean, you know. Well, I think I think uh, kidnapping is just kind of across the board not okay. But I mean, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Midweek War, where kidnapping <laughs> might be okay. Uh, Welcome to Lucha Underground, where, where kidnapping, kidnapping might, might be okay. okay. Let, let, let's be, let's be, this is strictly in the context of Lucha Underground kayfabe. Strictly in the context. Oh, all right, all right. Strictly but, in the context of, of Lucha Underground maybe, uh, world. Eh, kidnapping. Because, I mean, Sorg, there is a time traveler. There is a time traveler. Maybe Marty was... Maybe past Marty was in the... Oh, my God. He <laughs> might be a time traveler, too. His name's Marty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he's broken. Oh, man. No, but he... Past Marty might have been looking out for future Rosemary. You don't know. Because Marty's been looking for, for, so, for a, a special lady to share his life with. If that isn't Rosemary and TNA, mm-hmm. who the fuck is it? Yeah, that's true. I mean, the only other person I can think is Nikki Cross. Mm -hmm. But that's just because Nikki Cross should be involved with everything under the sun. But, yeah. um, So, yeah, the Atomicos match was great. I kind of hope Marty gets signed so they put him as part of Sanity. Oh, Sorg. What? Like, that would be good. Sorg, why do you have to make me think such awesome things? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because or... I mean, we could we could even just bring him, bring in him and cheerleader Melissa, and have them be like cheerleaders. Or can't? Oh, wow, well, that guy's that got weird all of a sudden. I or know. <laughs> can we just get the the Lucha Underground to get Sanity? Yes, I'm okay with this. Also okay, also cool, and that means there's going to be a lot more interesting I, things happening. I want to see. I want to see Killian Dane versus Cage now. Hmm. That's what I want to see. Mm. All right. So, uh, but Sorg, as we know, not every show is perfect. Qualis to Malo, Padalucha Underground. Oh, uh, poor, poor uh, uh, Jimmy Mundo or whatever his name is. Uh, Ricky, <laughs> Ricky, Ricky Mundo. Mundo. Poor Ricky Mundo. I feel... uh, you mean single white Mundo. Single white Mundo. Single white Mundo, Sorg. Ricky Mundo's going to cost Johnny the Lucha Underground title. No. That's what's going to happen. Did you ever see the movie Single White Female? (laughs) No, I haven't. Yeah, that I'm telling you, obsession. At first, it starts with obsession. Mm -hmm. Then it starts with, you know, something weird. Either this is what our kids will look like. I've already booked our wedding. I've changed my last name to yours. And then it leads to an ice pick in the head. That's what's going to happen, Sorg. <laughs> that's how these things work. Okay. All right. And we know how that's going, moving forward now. Yes. Single white Mundo. Hashtag it. Single white Mundo. Either that or he's just going to take out Taya. Or he's going to take out the worldwide underground from the inside. Inside Mundo. Anyways, move on. <laughs> Moving There's on. There's a lot of different puns I can do. With There's a lot that um, can happen here. Yes. So my uh, me Malo this week is the main event. Oh no! Now it was not a bad match. Mm-mm. Lucha Underground hardly ever has bad matches, so don't get don't, do not get this twisted. 
But I think this is my own fault. <laughs> this is I her. put a no, no, I'm serious. I put a lot of expectations into this match. Mm-hmm. And I was hoping for ultra violence. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, but this wasn't even like an ODQ match. And I have a feeling this is just part one of Matanza versus Rey Mysterio. Or or uh, part two is um, Mysterio in his in his in his dungeon. Um. Well, all right. So we'll we'll get into this after after we do the changes. Mm. But I want to tell you my theory, Sorg. I want to tell you my theory, and it involves Dragon Ball Z. Because everything does. Of course, everything does. All right. So Sorg, um, Qualis to Cambio. What would you change about this week's Lucha Underground? Uh, my change for this week, I, oh, I like that. I like the Mister. Uh, I like the Pentagon stuff. I yeah, I, th- I thought that match was really good. Yeah, it was really good. I I love the I love everything that was happening there. Um, we've really kind of divorced the whole Vampiro and Pentagon idea. It seems. Okay. Uh, you know, I don't necessarily know if that's true. You know my changes. Everybody seemed too relaxed when we, we went to the desk camp. <laughs> for the commentary at one time. <laughs> Did you catch that? No, what was that? I don't know. There's just a time where they're kind of back in their seats. Like, you know. It was just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, like, us when we're, like us when we're watching Raw. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, like, yeah, uh, yeah you guys yeah. are really relaxed here. Um, hey, you know what? Sorg, they hit 100 episodes. They deserve a break. That's true. That's true. They uh, deserve a break. Yes. All right. Uh, so, Sorg, my change is, is very specific. It's very, um, I think, beneficial for the entire world of professional wrestling. Um, let's not have Melissa Santos be be destroyed by a bunch of moths. Let's not have that. Because, Sorg, Melissa Santos is wrestling next week. Oh, no. <laughs> did, you, did you not catch that? No, I didn't catch that. Yeah. Yeah, there's going to be a mixed tag next week. Oh, no. Marty and Mariposa. Versus Phoenix and Melissa Santos. Oh, wait, is she going to announce herself? She fucking better. That would be amazing. Unless. But, but Sorg. There is that one Sorg, thing I haven't seen yet. Oh, don't you dare tease me with this. So. All right, okay. There could be another Sorg, announcer option. Sorg. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, all, right, all right, don't do not say anymore, <laughs> you fucking asshole. Or am I completely remembering things completely wrong again? Which you might be because Chavo Guerrero still has not reappeared. <laughs> nope, nope. I'm uh, still trying to track uh, down the stuff that I didn't see. And if that's the case, and if we don't see this before Ultima Lucha, I have some questions for for uh, our, our our friends over at Lucha Underground. All right, uh, Sorg. All right, we, so we've, we've gone through our good band change. Before we do our ra- our rankings, mm-hmm. I need to tell you my theory. Okay. Now, Sorg, um, you're aware that Dragon Ball Z has has recently come back into into the pop culture medium, right? I, I am I am aware. aware. Okay. Um, they had the, they had this movie called Battle of the Gods. Oh, okay. Okay. Um. I think Dario has unintentionally started the Battle of the Gods. Because there were two things that were very key that happened on this week's episode of Lucha Underground. Okay? Dario got the gauntlet, and Matanza stole Rey Mysterio. I think, because we, we've heard about that gauntlet. We've heard that gauntlet cons- fully consumes the user, you know, all that stuff. Mm-hmm. I think Dario is going to look to sacrifice Rey Mysterio so that Matanza can get the power of the gods encased within the gauntlet. Hmm. It's like he collected two of the Dragon Balls this week on the show. One is shaped like Rey Mysterio. Well, it's not even that. It's more of a, it's more of a Ghostbusters thing. 
Oh. He is the key master and the gatekeeper now. Oh. Okay. All right. Because you know, you know what you what you do to bring about a god sorg. You sacrifice a king. Did I just blow your mind? We're gonna have. Are we gonna? Are they gonna have like a sacrifice like ritual in the middle of the temple? I think we might. Oh jeez. I think we might. And there's no Stone Cold Steve Austin to save Stephanie McMahon this time. No. Who would be the equivalent of Stone Cold Steve Austin in this situation? Pentagon. Pentagon probably. Pentagon is the closest. To, is Stone Cold Pentagon is gonna come in and whoop your ass and break your arm? Yeah. I mean. I mean, I could be completely off base, as I usually am with a lot of my Lucha Underground theories. Mm -hmm. But I feel like these two things happening on the same episode, especially being the 100th episode, is not an accident. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's an accident, because now the Quatos have kidnapped someone and taken a very powerful artifact. Those two things happening at the same time happened for a reason. Like I, I'm, I, I really think I'm, I'm on, I'm on to something with this. And I'm very excited for it, Sorg. Now, that being said, Sorg, where do you rank Lucha Underground this week? Easy number one because you had a three-way fight in the in the back room over a gauntlet. Okay, um, that's that's what I was playing, but, over, but no, on top of that, it was just like too much could have happened on this show. Okay. Um, <clears throat> For me, Lucha Underground is a barely squeaking number two. Oof. Oof. And it it's just because I thought 205 Live was a perfect show. I thought 205 Live was a perfect show this week. I could not find a single fault with it. And I wanted, like, I think I built up the expectations too high for the 100th episode. Mm -hmm. I think that's partially my fault, partially the way I watched it. I'm not sure. But, you know, when you have low expectations for a show and they nail it, you know, the, the praise goes through the roof. When you have really high expectations and, and it doesn't quite get there, then, you know, that's, that's pretty much all this is. I hear so all this is. It was still a very good episode of Lucha Underground. And I think if there had maybe had been a stipulation in Matanza and Ray or something like that, that could have tipped the tide really, really quickly, especially when we saw, like, the biker brawl two weeks ago, the five Oh street fight last week. And this week's main event is just a normal, albeit very good match. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, that, that's, that's pretty much where I'm, where I'm going with that. All right. All right. So Sorg, uh, where can the people find you on the internet? You can start at sorgatronmedia.com and check out the fine podcasts about wrestling and otherwise. All right, you can find me at Mad Mike four eight eight three on the Twitter machine. Also, go to at Mayhem Show. Look for the hashtag MM for when I live tweet things such as gifts of Goku and Frieza fighting, and me saying I feel like a Namekian in the temple when this is going on. All right, so Sorg, we will be here next time for the hundred and first episode of the Mid Week War.